Alright guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Arca Plasma, which is our plasma shotgun. Now if we go and look at its regular stats, as you can see, 22% crit chance, which is nice, with a 1.6 multiplier. It has a fall off point from 10 to 20 meters. Fire rate is low. The magazine is 6. The reload is also 2.8, so it's going to take a while to reload this thing since you got to reload it from the backside. Status is at 28%, which is nice, and it does pure radiation since it's a plasma shotgun. Now, this is a two formed build, but I have three builds for you guys because I was trying different ways in order to make this more versatile. All right, so as you can see, this is the first build right here where I have corrosive radiation, prime point blank, hell's chamber multi-shot shotgun spaz you need that for the fire rate because the fire rate for this is really slow and on top of that is a pump action shotgun tactical pump to reduce that reload speed since it's at 2.8 at base it's down to 2.2 which is not bad blunderbuss for that crit chance prime ravage i just have it at rank 9 so i can have 100 percent crit damage and i also have my two dual stats for that corrosive so my stats will sit at 87.8. Now running with this build here, earlier it works. You can get this up to 100% status. The problem is, is that you're gonna have to sacrifice either reload or fire rate, one of the two, because you have to put in shotgun savvy or if you have one of the acolyte mods called nano applicator, you gotta go with that. But something is going to be sacrificed in order for you to pull this off with this weapon. Now, let me just throw out some of enemies here. I'm gonna, uh, let me see. Put out at least five of these corrupted bombards. Now, this is the first build. This is corrosive with radiation. Now, like I said, this weapon here. As you can see, if the enemy survives, they will get hit with a crap ton of radiation. But as you can see, it's doing like abysmal damage, but as you can see, just based off of the radiation, it has innate, it has innate punch through. But the problem is, is that <laughs> I'm trying to aim for their heads. And as you can see, the, the corrosive procs are doing its job and the radiation is keeping them off of me. And they're attacking each other, so really I'm not going to get most of the benefits from these kills all in all. Let's see able to kill that guy. And, actually, okay, he fell off. He'll probably spawn back later. So as you can see... There you go, he's toast. You have to take your time with this shotgun. Even with the fire rate, oh, wow, he actually went up in the air. Since the fire rate is low, and I have to, I have to put in shotgun savvy. Oh yeah, not shotgun savvy, shotgun spaz. It has decent fire rate, but not like a crap ton of fire rate where I could just go bow, bow, bow. Because again, it's a pump action. Even with the shotgun savvy on, not sh it's a shotgun spaz. So just with shotgun spaz being in there. It's still decent. Now I'm gonna go to the other build now. This is a straight up radiation. Okay. I'm gonna toss some Grenier out here. Because as you know, Grenier hate radiation. I'm gonna get out some bombards here. Now this build here. I didn't pretty much explain this build in its entirety. This is the second one here. Now, if you're if you're not using this one with Prime Ravage and Blunderbuss, what you can do is you can take advantage of the Acolyte uh, mods. Laser Sight, for Headshot you get that Crit Chance Boost, and Shrapnel Shot, which is on the kill. But as you can see, I still have these two mods in here because if you want to compensate for the slow reload and the low fire rate, these two mods are essential. Alright? So... 
let me go in on these guys. I don't think they're just walking around and such. This is pure radiation here. Now just with the pure radiation, as you can see, it's just confusing them in its entirety. It's still going to be doing the damage. But just the radiation alone is just making them fight each other, which is nice. But that's what radiation all in all does. But I'm relying on the crit of the Acolyte Maz because I'm aiming for their heads. And since this has innate impact, it's going to keep pushing him back. Sooner or later, he's going to fall off the edge. So that's why I'm trying to kill him as fast as I can. And there he goes. Trap no shot finally kicked in, so I could just take advantage of it. But like I said, this is pure radiation, and I'm pretty much going to run out of ammo at this rate. That's another thing. As far as with this weapon, it doesn't have much ammo in it, so you're gonna have to. Make sure your shots count or else they're gonna run out on you. So I gotta go back, get more of this. There we can see. They're gonna be doing most of the damage by themselves. They're gonna keep damaging themselves just because I have so much radiation. It's like, yeah, not prioritizing me. They're prioritizing the enemy that's been hit with so much radiation. It's like, yeah. Let's go after this guy. And the guys behind him is getting hit. So, but. But just in these high levels, you can see the weapon does have some fall off. So, you gotta rely on radiation more than anything else. If I had corrosive on, I've been able to take off these dudes' armor and I'll be doing much more damage. So, this, this build, this is why this is my second build, not my main one. And last but definitely not least, you actually got the gas and the magnetic. Now this, I will use this against the corpus. So I'm going to get rid of those guys and let me kill them off. Yeah, kill enemies. Now this is a corpus killer, especially with these corpus techs. Because... I have this build for gas. You already know what gas does. Gas with the radiation and magnetic is going to eat away at their health. So against Corpus, this thing is gonna hit them like a truck. So look at that. Look at that. And yep, he's already dead. So see? This has no problem dealing damage to this faction. Just gas and magnetic, and they're practically toast. Even if they survive the first shot, toxin is going to eat at their health. Magnetic is going to cut them shields down a bit. But just the toxin just going right at their health is just going to eat them alive. So, as you can see, the Config A build is my main one because, again, it's corrosive. This is going to be against Corpus. This build, you could move around a lot of stuff. This is just straight up radiation. If you want to mess around with it, you could just probably put this in here for the whole... Uh... Okay, that's just really magnetic. You could just roll with Corrosive all the way. That is if you want to. It depends. Or you could just go viral. Keep taking away the, um, their health by 6 seconds with the viral proc. But that's up to you. But this is my main. This is against Corpus. And this one here is just for you to take away health. 